here. We have Copter and then his opponent Flying Dragon 73. Yeah, Copter coming from a London in the UK. He's actually here. I think this is his last semester. He's leaving in like a few short days, oh, unfortunately. No. Yeah. But definitely a top contender in even in, in this pool, I believe I saw he was seated to make it out through losers. Oh nice. Um he plays Young Link, Inkling, I know he has a snake, and then he was originally a Pac-Man main from Smash 4, so he definitely still has that on deck. I know he wants to utilize Pac-Man more, especially, he, he, he mentioned himself, it's more of a, like, player matchup thing rather yeah. than a character matchup, because the way I see it, like, people don't really know the Pac-Man matchup, so you, oh, might as, sure. you might as well use that matchup unfamiliarity to your advantage. So we'll, we'll see what... His decision is, I'm, I'm going to guess he's probably going to start out with the Young Link. Uh, Flying Dragon 73, though, unfamiliar name to me. I'm sure a uh, solid player in his own right. We're about to see what, what, what yeah. goes down. I mean, just, of course, being the first set of the day, as far as singles goes, you know, this is only just going to be exciting from here on out. And just to see, if I'm, I mean, I'm kind of expecting Copter to start with Inkling. I mean, that's Inkling, true. Inkling or Youngling, that's, that's definitely I, the two characters that the, I'm expecting to see. Dude, his Inkling gave me such a rough time. I played him in a, in a bracket at the uh, hy Hyperbolic Chamber, the Tyson's Hyperbolic Chamber, and yeah. uh, man, Inkling was putting me on tilt. But, yeah, he's oh. definitely got a solid Inkling, and you were absolutely right. Goes for the Inkling right out the gate, and we got a different Link in here as well. We were talking about Arrow, but let's see what Flying Dragon can bring to the table. Well, actually, they're going to reset yeah. really quick. Um, started on the wrong side. It's a shame. I like this song, too. <laughs> it's a good song. There's not a single bad Pokemon song in this game. I mean, I would argue there's not a single bad song in this game, but certain songs are just not really conducive to, to fighting, and I would say that that one is, is probably not That's a great true. fighting That's track. That's definitely <laughs> a great way to put it, that there are some, some songs that don't get me as hyped yeah. in the moment as I could be. Yeah, all the all the cool songs I like to fight to. I whenever I go to PS2, you know, we, we go to PS2 as a starter stage. Like people like to agree to that stage, the the Smashville of this game, starter stadium, if you will. I I always pick the music. Usually I'll go for uh, Zinnia's theme. That's like my favorite, you my go-to. <laughs> why, why 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 are you saying that, man? What, what do you mean I would? Man, you know exactly what I mean. You're right. <laughs> But yeah, I like Zinnia's theme. I like Steven's theme. Okay. Uh, the legendary battle music is all good. I mean, they're, they're all bangers, so you can't really complain. Does uh, does Lance have his, his theme on? I don't uh, think it's on here. Oh, yeah. boy. I should just put all the mu Pokemon where's, music uh, on there. Where's my gold and silver love? <laughs> For real, dude. Especially with, like, heart gold and soul silver. Those were, in retrospect, like... Probably some of the best games, Pokemon oh, games. Sure. Even I though they were like remakes, definitely some of the best remakes. It, it's funny because that even those two, that generation, like the Soul Silver and Heart, yeah, Game, actually revitalized the Pokemon because it had been dying down. But we'll talk about more Pokemon later. Let's get into the first match of the day for singles: Flying yeah. Dragon seventy three versus Copter. Zelda versus Splatoon here. Uh, Inkling and Link. That's kind of a mouthful. Inkling Link. Inkling Link. <laughs> Yeah, we're starting off, and Copter taking a fair amount of damage already, 46%. That's going to be the main thing, is that Link has a, a lot of projectiles and a really great boxing game, actually, in this game. Of course, they changed his grab from a tether grab to a more traditional grab, so he's got uh, a bit of a different game plan there. Yeah, depending on who you talk to, you know, a lot of mixed feelings there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say it's a nerf because, you know, it did kind of stop him from getting the tether recovery like he had in the previous game. Sure. But at the same time, just not having that Link means that now you're going to be more utilized to use your other resources. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course the bomb, the main difference is as you can see it's laying there on the on the ground. He can actually detonate it when he wants to as, as soon as he presses down B. With the exception of course, oh, the roller, F smash, that's going to be the first stock. Uh, Copter pulling away on that already, but as I was saying the uh, exception to the bomb uh, is that you can't detonate it when he has, uh, the opponent has it in their hand. So That's right. Yeah. So it's Wait. even stocks now. Yeah, big turnaround S Smash coming out from Flying Dragon 73. And, ooh, that's all you needed. Look at these up tilts just connecting and kind of putting more damage onto Copter. But, oh, oh no! Bomb. That Splat Bomb actually almost saved him. Had it actually exploded, he, he may have been able to wall tech and, and make it back, but it's just outside of the range. And Copter going to take that one all the way to the bank, man. Only 23% on his first stock. And looking mighty clean with that conversion by the ledge down throw into Nair. Right now, oh, there's another roller. roller. 
Gonna be oh, landing God. the back air, just rolling again. Just I like that it just you know creates distance between him and his opponent, but at the same time it also uh, yeah you know it also has that threat of grounding. Okay, you can see Fine Dragon fought himself out of the corner there, throwing a bomb up and just using up tilts to kind of like threaten Copter to not really come towards him, and it worked out. He's still got a, a ton to make up for here, and he's going to have to be careful of the roar. It's certainly going to come out soon if he's not careful about his defensive options. Oh, He's going to have to be worry about a couple things. You yeah. can't be recovering high like that. You mm -hmm. definitely want to use a recovery that's going to make you snap to the ledge just so those down smashes uh, aren't as big of a threat. Yeah, and Link can certainly do that as well. In that situation, it was just a bit of a misplay from Flying Dragon. He could have dipped a little bit lower just uh, to perfectly space the recovery to get the, grab the ledge. Fortunately, that was not the case, and Copter's going to take game number one. Let's see what the counter pick was. I didn't see what stage they picked. Uh, he's going to stay. He might switch to Young Link. He's thinking about the snake. Nah, he's going to... I mean, why, why switch off the thing that brought you success up to this point, right? Very true. Very true. But, I mean, you are, if he, especially with, like, with the way Copter has like a multiple characters mm -hmm. that he likes to utilize within the tournament, you definitely want to keep them all warm, so... I wouldn't understand if he was like, you know, I, I won game one. Sure. I can lose another game and still be okay. Um, let me bring out the young Link. Just yeah, keep it warm. especially with how dominant that was. He did get a two stock, but at the same time, you have to consider that Flying Dragon kept it pretty close, especially in that first stock. He lost the first stock, took the stock back immediately, but then self-destructed himself. So yeah. things could have been totally different if it not, had not been for that. Well, we're seeing another strong start, but oh, those arrows stuffing out the roller from Copter. Yeah, really scary situation there for Flying Dragon. Fortunate for him to get that arrow out in time. Had he uh, not stopped the roller, that was going to spell his death. Oh, okay. yeah, launching himself back with his own grenade, but now it's a flat bomb, and that's going to secure the kill. Yeah, really well placed snipe from Copter right there. And he's sitting at 106% now, making his way back to the stage. Just kind of sitting back. All right, he gets a back throw. Does not get the grab, though. Up tilt coming out incredibly fast. Um, Link actually has a tremendous amount of, like, really fast out of shield options. Uh, up tilt is pretty fast, but I think even, like, Nair and Up B are, oh. are the faster ones. Nair for sure. I haven't even back seen Up B. Up B. You see Up B more, more as a kill confirmed. By though. the ledge, too. Yeah, especially at the ledge. Okay, so you're dropping it then. Ooh, nice. Keeping All it tricky. The, yeah, keeping it tricky and then also putting a lot of shield pressure on a dragon. All right, Copter still living on his first life. 162, Flying Dragon. Doing a pretty good job. Four tilt from across the stage is going to take that one. He's got to take one more. He's got about 80% to make up for here. Yeah. Oh, he's no. He's back airs, but not getting the Yo, sweet. Yeah, that, was, that, 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 looked, that. that looked whack. <laughs> He's going to go for the up throw up there, not it within the percent range to actually get a true combo, though. Okay, getting the forward throw and then just punishing. Yep, that down air has a lot of recovery on yeah. it. Yeah. Really, really great uh, patience right there, exercised by Copter. He uh, went for the down throw and then threw out a back air and kind of fiend like he was going to throw out another back air, baiting out that down air and just got the uh, forward smash punish on the landing. I like that right there. Copter had landed the roller, but he knew that he wasn't in position really utilize or capitalize off it as well as he could just like that nice yeah oh still gonna live link is quite heavy after all he's got so many tools in his arsenal he's got bombs he's got arrows he's got the master sword man i'm sure his boots weigh something too oh don't forget about that heavy shield too oh man the How hylian shield come on that thing takes so much damage you know it's definitely made out of something better than steel Ooh, it's it's some hylian materials for sure and copter is gonna take that 2-0 with the up smash Really nice stuff. Yeah, so like you were saying, you know, he was definitely seated to make it out.